Yes. Hello from Dallas. Hey, Paul from Altus. Where are y'all all watching from? Good to have you here. Not with me anymore. I get it. I understand. <laughs> this one won't last it. He's uh, a little bit heavier than Hey there, Amanda, Jeff, Doug, Rocco. Good to have you all here. Welcome, Michelle, Central Kansas. Glad you're here with us. Ooh. New Delhi, India. I think you're our furthest watcher so far. Anybody else? Hold on, you didn't even get to see that, did you? Wait, it's not, it's not creepy. No, hold on. I'll let it load. More clouds in Central Texas. Sorry, Alan, praying for clear skies.
Hello, Alice. Thanks for joining from Sacramento. Glad you're here. Good question, Freddie. I think we might have that in one of our podcast episodes. We'll have to look for the link later and find the right episode number, but we can put it in the comments later. Hey, Kelly from Orlando. Thanks for joining us today. Enjoy what you can see of the eclipse from Dallas. Keith from Illinois. Welcome. Yes, that's awesome. Praying for a total viewing for you. Arlen from Florida, glad you've joined us. Another Texan, New Braunfels, glad you've joined us. Were you able to watch any of it from where you are? That's great. Hope you enjoyed it. For those of us in Texas, this is the last one we'll see in our lifetime, I think, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, we'll have to travel. But <laughs> anybody planning on traveling to a future eclipse? I think there's one coming up, maybe a total in Iceland, I think is what I heard. And then another one, what, 20 years from now? From California to Miami, something like that. Hey, Zoe from Kansas. Glad you've joined the feed. Check out our social media later at ICR Science. We'll post photos of all the people at our gathering here at our museum, the ICR Discovery Center. People are having a great time looking through to uh, solar telescopes, um, taking photos and viewing the sun safely with ISO certified glasses and filters. We're thankful the clouds have cleared. We had a thick blanket earlier of clouds, but the Lord has provided an answered prayer for clear skies to view totality. I think we're about 30 minutes away, so stay tuned. If you're on a mobile device, I think you can zoom in a little bit. We're filming this on an iPad, so the quality isn't like super high, but if you zoom in, you probably can see, you can definitely see the partial right now. Your second one, CG, that's so cool. You're from Costa Rica, wow. I'm so glad you can enjoy it now. Wow, that's a great, great story.
good question, Damien. We are looking into that. New creation in Christ. Welcome back. Hello from Florida. Glad you're here. I think you already missed it from California. Okay, from California. You might have missed that already, but stay tuned on this feed. And then we also have a link to the NASA feed, I think, in our description. If not, we'll add it later. Doesn't look like it's there now, but we'll add that feed. looking at a report from LA it looks like you might be able to see some of it right uh, peak at 11 12 a.m which is that's basically right now <laughs> so yeah go outside but use safety glasses watch for ISO certified glasses Thank you, Damien. Thanks for the shout out. From Sao Paulo, Brazil. Thank you, Paulo, for joining us. And Gabriel. Our pleasure. Okay, that's great, Alice. Yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed on video. I know there are other feeds. We had it saved in our description, but it's not there right now. So we'll, we'll include a link later to the NASA feed. Um, so you can go back and any of y'all can watch a replay if they make that available. And ours should be available for a replay as well. 60% in Florida. Okay, cool. Yeah, hang, hang tight until 3. It's worth watching. About 25 minutes, I think, is when we'll have full totality here in Dallas. Yeah, so if you're not already following us on Facebook, X, formerly known as Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, even TikTok, Pinterest, we're all over the place. Follow us at, at ICR Science. We'll be posting photos and other video content from today. We're going to be flying a drone. We're, we just have lift off of that, so we'll have, hopefully see some of that footage later. We're going to do a recap um, of this event and the greater event, the total eclipse. Doki Doki Bible Club, glad you're here. You've got your popcorn and your soda. Glad you've joined. 
Thanks for being such a great member and uh, sharing memberships with others. Turned out to be a beautiful day in Dallas. We're so thankful. Answered prayers, clear skies, right over to our museum, the ICR Discovery Center in Dallas. If you haven't visited yet, please do. We invite you. We've got a creation museum and planetarium here in Dallas, the ICR Discovery Center. If you're local, we're right next to Irving and Farmers Branch off of 635 and I-35E on Luna Road and Royal Lane. If you're here in Texas, go ahead and watch. Look for the shadows underneath trees. You can see the the fun shapes. Kind of looks like a crescent moon, huh? For those of you watching, obviously I have a filter on, so that's why everything's so dark. It is not that dark yet, but we've already, we can already tell that we're approaching totality. If I can time it right, we'll take it off so you can see. Aos amigos brasileiros que estão assistindo aí ao Eclipse, um grande abraço aqui para o pessoal do ICR em Dallas. Aproveitem a oportunidade de ver uma coisa tão grandiosa que Deus permite a gente ver. Um abraço. So cool. For those of you watching, our friends from Brazil, one of their friends, Roberto, works here at ICR, and um, such a joy to have all of you watching. Thanks for joining us today. We're getting close, 20 minutes. And your friend Ian came down to Dallas. Cool, yeah, I hope he enjoys it. I think he should have a good view if he's in Dallas. I can hear all the airplanes flying over, maybe, maybe our drone. We're right, right off the road, so we have some car noise. And the airplanes flying over, we're not far from Dallas Love Field, so we have, we're kind of in the flight path. We can see them all the time of Southwest Airlines in particular. We're just east of Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, so if you're ever flying into Dallas, either airport, we're really close to either airport. We have a few hotels nearby. We have some special discounts with as well. So if you go to icrdiscoverycenter.org, you can find more information particularly related to travel and lodging. So if you ever want to come visit, we have a special arrangement with a few local hotels. and We offer special rates to stay there. We encourage you to come visit. Hydroverse, around 90% where you're at, around 2 
And I'm sorry that you won't get full totality, but 90%, that's still really cool. I hope you enjoy it. And hopefully you'll get to experience it in part 100% totality here from Dallas shortly, less than 20 minutes away. And there's someone else here. We have Day 4 Astronomy. They've sponsored our event in Forney, Texas on Saturday. They've got solar telescopes out here, um, various cameras, and I feel like someone else over there might be running a live stream too. So if we can find their link, we'll share it later so you can watch the replay because they've got a really good zoom in. Um, you can see it like really big, really up close. So we'll try to get their link later. Hello, Betty from San Antonio. Oh, I'm so sorry about the cloud cover. Oh. We'll try to enjoy this one from Dallas in less than 20 minutes. Unless the Lord has different plans, it's going to be fully clear right there. Thank you, Doki Doki Bible Club. We're so grateful for you and how you've joined our live streams in the past with our events. We'll let you know when we have future ones, too. Stay tuned on our website and our social media, and then watch, too, for any streams, scheduled streams on our YouTube channel. One of our media team members, Jim, is taking uh, still shots, I think, and maybe some video, but he's got a good zoom in, and we'll try to share some of those photos later as well. Excited to share all the media content we're getting today. So again, follow us at ICR Science across social media platforms, and I'm sure you'll see this too on our website at some point, icr.org. We have a free bi-monthly magazine, Acts and Facts. Sign up online. It's totally free. You can get it in the mail, via email. You can read it on our website. So I'm sure at some point these pictures uh, will be shared there too. And if you're, if you're watching this now and you're not subscribed to our channel, do it now. Don't forget. You don't want to miss all the cool content. We've got podcasts um, every other Tuesday, the Creation Podcast. Third Friday of every month, creation.live. It's our panel show with special guests. We just did a recording um, with astronaut General Charlie Duke from Apollo 16 mission. He's one of four left, four men left who have actually walked on the moon. So that interview will be coming out in the future. We'll let you know soon once we have a good estimated date to post. We also interviewed NASA engineer, former NASA engineer, Catherine Sterling. She's here today at our event with her husband, and they're also enjoying the eclipse. We talked with her about engineering and design in the world of biology. And so that'll be really interesting. It, it teams up and pairs really well with the research we're doing at the Institute for Creation Research. Thank you, Doki Doki. Yes, we just recently crossed 40,000 subscribers. Spread the word. Help us grow this channel to reach more people with the truth about our creator and savior and returning king, the Lord Jesus Christ. Damien, that's awesome. I'm so glad you got to see this. I'm so glad, yeah, I'm so glad you saw it, even though it wasn't full. Keep watching, because we are 15 minutes away from totality in Dallas. Out of curiosity, how out of the, those of you watching live, how many of you were uh, around when we had the first moon landing? Did any of you watch it on TV? <laughs> Thank you. 
Alice, you were eight at the time and watched it live. That's amazing. Well, hopefully, hey, uh, Damien, hopefully we'll have some good video and photo content of Totality, even better than this iPad version. We're getting close. I bet you can already sense it. Hydroverse, I'm with you. I was not alive then. <laughs> but it's really cool to go back and look at history. Betty, you were going into eighth grade. That's incredible. What, for Alice and Betty, oh, ninth grade. Okay, yeah, for Alice and Betty, what did you, what did it feel like? What was the culture and the environment like when we had the first moon landing and subsequent landings? Brian and Lauren, yes. Excitement, I agree. I'm sure that would be amazing. Something that had never been done before, obviously. Again, you'll have to check out our episode when it comes out, our creation.live podcast with General Charlie Duke and his wife, Dottie, when they shared their story, hearing what it was what it was actually like to physically walk on the moon, the experiments that they did, what it, the journey, the challenges they had to get there, and returning home, what it was like, and then ultimately, too, how their lives changed, the turning point in their life, how the Lord saved them, and even saved their marriage, and saved Dottie from um, despair, hopelessness, and contemplating suicide. So you get to hear their story and then learn more about their ministry and how they're taking the gospel around the world. Andrea from Brazil. My friend. Roberto's over here watching with me. So your friend is right here with me, just next to the iPad. Yes, Alice, imagining about the future. We were talking a little bit about that with General Duke, like what he envisioned. Um, with future space missions and we even asked you know for advice for like what would you tell future uh, astronauts uh, young people today who want to pursue a career in stem what do they need to do what what advice do they need to hear yes thank you all for joining us and from so far away that's awesome Twelve minutes away. Well, make that eleven. Eleven minutes. We can start our countdown in just a little bit. Yes, I agree. Woohoo! We're almost there. <laughs> if we had some confetti cannons, that'd be really cool, or some a bubble, bubbles. I don't know. We don't have any of that. Maybe some do over in the park. We're in the park area of our museum, just outside the museum, the ICR Discovery Center. Yeah, if you haven't checked it out yet, we have a booklet um, on our store called Unlocking Eclipses, talking about how you can view them, what's so important about them, why they matter. And you can find that on our website, icr.org slash store. We have several other resources, some videos, books. Um, we have Guide to the Universe, The Universe, A Journey Through Gods. Good advice, Freddie. Yes, do not do not put binoculars to your eyes without the correct filtering. But yes, you can point them on a piece of paper and observe it that way. An aurora borealis with a solar eclipse. Oh my goodness, that would be amazing. I think Paolo is watching the feed. I mean, excuse me, Roberto is watching the feed, Paolo. So yes, I'm sure he misses y'all too. One for each lens. That's really cool. Nine minutes, y'all. I would say this. 
seconds delay. Ten second delay. Okay, yeah. So there's a there's a slight delay in between what you're seeing and what you're hearing from from me. So I, I might not do an actual countdown, so it's not a letdown. But yeah, bear with me in a little bit. I'll remove the filter when we have totality. It's starting to feel a little cooler now. Maybe that's my imagination, but we have a little bit of a breeze here in Dallas. That's nice. Some some shade by the trees. But it's a beautiful spring day in Dallas, Texas, and we are thankful. Have any of you watching the feed been to the ICR Discovery Center? I know I've been talking about it, but have any of you actually visited? 98% in Memphis, John. That's that's so close. That's really great. Enjoy. We have another group uh, from our events team and other staff members at ICR out in Forney, Texas, where we had our conference on Saturday, the countdown to the Great American Solar Eclipse. And uh, so our t another team from ICR is out in Forney right now, also having a watch party, capturing some drone footage and photography and video as well. So we'll, we'll have a lot of content for you later. If, you're, if you miss this now, we'll have the replay and then we'll have some other things for y'all to enjoy too. Oh, that's great. You're, you lived in Dallas in the 90s. Really cool. That's a great testimony. Thanks for sharing. One of our podcast hosts, Trey, is standing nearby too. So he's helping me keep an eye out. Don't let me miss the time. We've got six minutes. What's up, guys? It's Trey. Yeah, how many of y'all have watched the Creation Podcast or Creation.Live? If so, if you've watched or listened, you should recognize Trey's voice. For better or for worse, you will see neither of us today. You're just going to see the sun, the literal star of the show. And hear our lovely voices. Alexander Lowhorn, what's up, Trey? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Alexander? Totality in San Antonio. At least we can see the dark. Betty says, hey, Trey. John, think... John Hunt, Trey's a great host. <laughs> Thanks, John. I appreciate that. It's getting eerily gray dark out here. Yeah. This is so interesting. It's kind of kind of weird to experience. Yes. Remember, don't look at the sun directly. It's bad That's for you. That's right. Don't do it. Not even for a few seconds. It will cause damage. Make sure you're using ISO certified sun um, solar glasses. If you're using cameras, make sure you have the appropriate filter for your lens. We're getting close. Yeah, if you're if you're in uh, the path of totality or even just part of it, even if it's not totality, look at shadows underneath the trees. You can see interesting patterns for me. Any other special tips and tricks y'all know? Things that sh you should do during an eclipse? Our drone is back up in the air. Our drone pilot, Clint Loveness, is nearby, safely flying his aircraft. Yes, we are with a crowd at our museum, the ICR Discovery Center. So we have a special event today. It's open to the public, come and go, free, no registration. Um, there's people, it's called When Day Meets Night, Faith and Science Under the Eclipse. We offered a few free planetarium shows and a presentation by ICR physicist, Dr. Jake Hebert, about our created sun. Humberto, yes, our pleasure. First time eclipse for Damien, yes. Four minutes, okay, pretty soon I'm gonna 
get the filter ready. That's wonderful. I'm so glad. Thanks for inviting them. We had someone from India, but Brazil is definitely a good distance from Dallas. That's great. Oh, it's getting there. Two hours past midnight, finally. Three minutes. Thank you, Trey. It's coming, y'all. Agent Victoria, great host. God bless you. Just a sliver now. <laughs> Two minutes. Yes, General Charlie Duke is with our other team, and we have some photos of him experiencing the eclipse as well. So this is really cool. What a great day. Colonel Jeff Williams, another NASA astronaut, um, is here with us in Dallas. So we've got two NASA astronauts experiencing the total eclipse with our ICR team. We're very grateful for their contribution at our conference and even here the day of. Okay, y'all. Almost there. That's 138. Totality begins at 140, I believe. Almost there. Yeah, that little sliver keeps getting smaller. You can give me the final count. I'll, I'll move it shortly. Uh, look, all I have is my. Uh, no, you're good. I don't, I'm not even using that other app. I can tell you exactly when it turns 140. That's Perfect. The best you get. We got a countdown from Parker, I believe. 90 seconds. Parker from Day 4 Astronomy, a wonderful ministry yes. that we partner with regularly. At day4.org. Day number 4.org. already we're almost there y'all keep your eyes 13, eyes to the sky 13 12 wow y'all Can y'all see that? Ooh. 
I'm getting chills. Ooh. Isn't this incredible? Literal chills. Ooh. Oh, it's amazing. Our pleasure, Alexander, yes. Yeah, this feed isn't as close up or yeah. clearly or high quality, but I'm looking over now at our under one of our tents. We've got another feed running right now, so we'll share that feed later if we can get a link. That's right. Our Father in Heaven must be smiling at our delight in His creation. Awesome. Thank you, Betty. I totally agree. And hopefully everybody watching this now will be reminded of their Creator, and if they don't know Him, that He's also their Savior. Today is the day of salvation. So unreal, it's cool. Feels like nighttime, like dusk. The heavens declare the glory of God. Yes. Amazing. Yes, this is my first experience with totality. It is amazing looking up. Amen. New, in, new creation in Christ. Amen. Tomorrow is not promised. That's right. Today is the day of salvation. Do not wait. Turn from your sin and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. He will save you from your sins. He died on the cross and rose again. He rose from the dead. He's alive today. Wow. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, y'all. put our filter back on because we are past totality. So you'll start seeing um, kind of the reverse of what you saw before, huh? So. Incredible. I can't wait to see some of the other footage we got from our other cameras. We will happily share that with y'all um, either here in the description or in the comments section probably. Um, also, our website and our social media. Again, that's at ICR Science across m many social media platforms, all the major ones. I still have chills, not going to lie. That was unreal. Super cool. Well, thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. You certainly did not have to provide clear skies. We're grateful. For those of you who did not experience totality in person, again, we'll share feeds that we can find um, that have even clearer image than this feed. Yeah, Stephen, sorry, we put the filter back on, so you'll start seeing a, the sun peeking out again. It's just without the filter now. It's just going to be too bright. God's creation is awesome. 
Amen. And now daylight is returning. Yes, the sun is slowly coming back out for us. We'll have a normal, well, it's not a normal Monday. Just kidding. <laughs> rest of the day will be uh, mediocre compared to that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I did not pay attention to the animals, but it did get really quiet. I've heard that things can, you know, that our, our furry friends, I think we have some dogs here or service animals. I can't tell from this distance, but we at least have one dog present. I don't know how he responded. We'll have to see. <laughs> Nice. That's, those are some. Those are some good lyrics. Yeah, it looks like this other feed is also on an iPad, but I think they have some sort of um, zoom yeah. extension, a lens, maybe something to, because it's like super close. It's filling their whole iPad screen, from what I can see from here. So, yeah, we'll find that feed or another feed from one of our team members later. Wow, this has been great. And clouds have started to cover the sun. I think that's also impacting how dark it is right now with the filter on, but um, just we, we experienced it just in time before they rolled in, but we still would have experienced it. Those are really high clouds, so Well, what a great day. Yeah, reason with Rainer, we did not on this one just because of the quality. We didn't want to lose the quality on it, but um, we have we have some other feeds here that we can link to later where you can watch the replay. We'll keep this going for a little bit longer so you can see uh, see the rest of the eclipse post totality. Yeah, several of our scientists are here with us. I think there may be some with, and our, with our other team in Forney, but we've got ICR president, Dr. Randy Galuza, uh, our ICR physicist, Dr. Jake Hebert, geologist, Dr. Tim Clary, geneticist, Dr. Jeff Tompkins. We mentioned day four astronomy is here. Uh, Parker Ng and his crew uh, from day four. It's day number four dot org. And if you want to find any information out about ICR, again, you can go to icr.org. What a great Monday in April. Beautiful spring day. It was almost a little on the warm side earlier, but now it's super cool. Another effect from the eclipse. How exciting.
Why does it seem that the temperature drops faster during an eclipse than after dusk? Great question. I'm gonna go ask our team and let's see if we can find out. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Michael went to go find an answer to that question. He left me here with the iPad. Let's see how much trouble I can cause. I'm just kidding. He'll be back with an answer soon. I always do, Alice. I always do. Michael is returning. So I, I think I have an answer for y'all. Um, if you think about it, how quickly the sun um, essentially disappears and gets blocked, as opposed to sunset where it's much more you know delayed and natural how long that would take. Um, this just happens so quickly for the you know the sun's rays to can be completely blocked. Hopefully that helps. And now I want to go look at it more. <laughs> Just remember, I'm not a scientist. I'm not representing our research staff, but got some feedback from day four astronomy and our physic physicists. Yeah, Alice, you're right on it, I think. I think that's the answer. And I'm pretty sure if you'll notice, if you were here at the beginning of the feed, noticing the location of where the sun and the moon are now on screen, I feel like we were much further to the left, or at least some, right? Like in the left third, left yeah. quarter. So it's interesting to see without having moved the iPad, because others who are tracking it much more closely are having to adjust accordingly. Good question, Hydroverse. When, I, when they were telling me the answer, I'm thinking, man, I should have thought of that. Well, that's great.
I will say four minutes seemed to go by super fast. That was really fast, yeah. yeah. Still really cool, but... Maybe we should be thankful that it doesn't last longer. <laughs> All right, everybody, say hi to Justin. Yes, our marketing specialist, Justin Moore, is here. He's been taking various media, including photos for social media, uh, I don't which think, you will probably see later. Yeah, I don't think anybody here has seen Justin before. Justin hopefully is a real person. He's not an invisible friend. Yes, say, I should let say him Say hello, hopefully. Justin. Hi, this is Justin. There we go. Live from Dallas. Thank you, Paul. ICR rules. Enjoy that partial eclipse, though, in Ocoee, Florida. Part of me wants to trade places with you. Florida is such a cool place to be. Alice says hi to Justin. Hi, Alice. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I will say, uh, the pictures don't quite do it justice. No, they don't. Yeah, that was pretty fun. I tried to take a picture with my phone and I was like, it doesn't, it, it's not the same. It doesn't quite work. So I went and took yeah. a picture of someone else's screen that was better than, yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is a confession for the, old, the whole internet. Yeah. I, I will admit my first impression because it almost had like a silver glow to it yeah it almost looked like a lightsaber yeah with the light around it there we go a lightsaber justin the just uh, equated the eclipse for lightsaber so that's that's what we've got the glow yeah. the glow yeah yes it had that and glow. it even made that sound <laughs> <laughs> close It is definitely brightening up here, even with the clouds. You saw the street lights go on? Yeah, yeah, okay. the street lights came on automatically. I didn't hear the crickets. I didn't hear any crickets either. The Philippines, wow, nice. I was wondering, I was like, what would be after midnight? I was trying to think through where you would be. And Brazil, Philippines, India, various places in Texas, Kentucky. I'm trying to remember who else from the feed. Pennsylvania, I think? There was at least one Canadian. Oh, really? I missed that. I, I think. Anyone from Canada? I want to say that there was at least one Canadian. Hey, Spirit Warrior, I'm glad you were able to see it from your backyard. I agree. Seeing it in person is way better than from an iPad stream. One of the reasons we ran this stream, actually, uh, was for our new science club for kids called Kids on Mission. It's an online-only science club, and you can find more information about that um, at icr.org slash kids dash on dash mission or just go to the icr.org homepage and scroll down i think we have a link there on the right hand side yes gabriella's dancing heart totality was so cool i agree we'll have to get the scoop after from across the way at the park but again we had day four astronomy here with parker ing day org, the number four we had Catherine Sterling here, former NASA engineer and Christian apologist, and NASA astronaut Colonel Jeff Williams. Colonel Williams uh, was on the International Space Station. He had logged 534 cumulative days in space. I think he still holds the record for the most photographs from space. Yeah. And he sells a book called The Work of His Hands. And he has a special book for kids, The Work of His Hands for Kids. It contains dozens of his photographs that he took from the International Space Station. We do sell that on our store, icr.org slash store. And we also have a podcast episode with Colonel Williams. I think it's episode five. 
of creation.live. It's here on our YouTube channel. I encourage you to go watch it. Trey and his co-host Ivana um, interviewed Colonel Williams and got to hear from him about his experience on the International Space Station. We also did one with Parker Ng from Yes, uh, from day from four. Day That's four. right. We have an episode with Parker. Uh, we talked about telescopes. And, and another photographer, David Reeves, he's yes. not with us today, but he was at our event on Saturday. He's also um, an accomplished photographer, has great photos as well of uh, solar and astronomy. And we have an episode with him on our, on our channel as well. Spirit Warrior, you know Catherine. That's so cool. Yes, we agree. We did that podcast with her. She spoke at our conference on engineering and uh, design in the biological world as well, and how we can educate our children, pointing people to the creator. We will let y'all know once those episodes do go live on our YouTube channel, you'll see that. If you subscribe, you can get notified in advance. Also, if you become a member here on YouTube or a patron on Patreon, you can get early access to both podcasts, a week early for the Creation Podcast, two weeks early for Creation.Live, and then we have many other perks, including basically streaming access to much of our video content that's normally behind a paywall, normally that you'd have to download, uh, digital download, pay for, or for a DVD. Um, but yes, so we encourage you to become a member here on YouTube. Pardon the road noise. <laughs> <laughs> Spirit Warrior, we've interviewed her before. She really knows things well. We agree. Absolutely. We'll let, uh, let this feed run a little bit longer, but we will wrap up fairly soon. But we thank you all for joining us today, and we hope you uh, will continue to stay in touch with us here at ICR. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, get on our mailing list. We'll tell you about if we're near you for a local event, having a conference, um, and also stay tuned for any future podcast episodes, particularly the two that I just mentioned a little bit ago with General Charlie Duke, Apollo 16 astronaut. Uh, the moonwalker, the man who walked on the moon. 
and as well as former NASA engineer Catherine Sterling. So we'll let you know when those episodes will be coming out. But yeah, stay tuned on our channel. Subscribe. Consider becoming a member. Our pleasure, Alice. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm glad you were able to watch. Yeah, it was cool and now it's warming right back up, so. <laughs> Nice and hot. That was Texas. a great question, Hydroverse, earlier. Yes, why did it cool down so quickly? It, it felt great, and now I'm like, I'm wearing a black t-shirt. What a great idea. If you have any children or grandchildren or you know a homeschool group, here's another resource as well. Um, I mentioned Unlocking Eclipses. It's a booklet you can buy for $5. I think it's $5 off our website. Um, but we also have just completely free uh, program called Creation Kids. It's different than our Kids on Mission Science Club. Creation Kids is actually a page we feature in each um, issue of our bi-monthly magazine, Acts and Facts, and it's an activity page. Well, the April issue, the page is about eclipses. And so if you're looking for an activity page uh, filled with science facts uh, from a Christian perspective pointing to the creator, you should go get that. It's a free PDF download on our website. If you just go to icr.org, I think it's forward slash creation kids. There may or may not be a dash in there, but you can also just go to the home page. Sorry, I wanted to give a bit a bit of a pause there. Southwest just flew overhead and I wanted to give them their moment to shine. I think I think I was correct. That was Southwest. Um, but yeah, so for Creation Kids, you can go to icr.org and go to our homepage. And then if you scroll down, I think there's a section that links straight to the Creation Kids page. And there you can find all of the, the current one, the Eclipses page for kids, free download. It's a PDF. And if you scroll through, you can see so many other issues that we've had, so many other pages for um, activities for kids. Several of them even have science experiments. I think this one might have had a, something about how to view the eclipse. I'd have to go back and look. But yeah, go, go find those free PDF downloads on our website. You're welcome, Kelly. Thank you for joining us. God bless you too. God bless you all. Thank you for joining us today. A couple more minutes and then we will wrap. For those of you still on the path of totality, if you're able to see it, I highly encourage you to go out and make sure you have the correct gear to safely view the sun. Never look straight into the sun without the appropriate ISO certified glassware, solar sunglasses, if you will. And also be careful with whatever telescopes or cameras you're using, binoculars, make sure you have the appropriate filters and lenses on. But if you have the chance to experience totality, you're on the rest of the pathway. Do your best to get out there and see it. Be safe. Yeah, Spirit Warrior, our next live feed. I'm trying to think. Trey, do you know? I do not um, remember. You have to trying to think after Memorial Day. Is, we're not live streaming, but I'm just trying to think. I am drawing a blank at the moment, but we will have a live event. I believe we'll have at least one more before the year's over, too. Yeah. But yeah, if we have another one sooner, we will 
let y'all know and you can check on the on our page uh, here our profile on youtube if you look under the live tab we'll also have any future scheduled streams posted there yeah make sure to uh if you are subscribed to click the bell yes. uh, so that you can get notified of that sometimes people miss particularly live streams they're you know they're pretty much one and done so if you don't click that bell and it yeah you might not it, see you might not see it i think somebody else said that earlier too didn't realize we were running a feed and yeah sorry that it was so seemed so last minute we had it scheduled we just weren't able to get the news out we wanted to make sure first that weather would cooperate because if it didn't we weren't going to run the stream because we didn't want to show you just some clouds so i'm glad you were able to see it i'm glad we were able to get our the prayers answered thank you lord for answering our prayers for for a clear totality but yeah we'll let you know spirit warrior whenever we have another feed coming out we'll, we'll get back to you And if you have any other questions, um, you're welcome to post them here in the comments. Um, if you watch any of our other podcasts, you can post in the comments there. We check all of our comments and messages. We aren't always able to answer every single one, but yes, if you can post them there, you can send them via direct message on social media to at ICR Science on Facebook, Instagram, X, LinkedIn. We're, we're almost everywhere. TikTok. <laughs> Find us there. We are on TikTok. Yeah. We're not banned yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> X, formerly known, known as, as Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, it's getting kind of toasty now. Toasty, toasty. Okay. I think that about does it for us today. Thank you so much for joining. We hope to see you again at another live event and on our social media. Please comment on our other videos and we will interact with you there as we're able. Enjoy the podcasts. Enjoy a wonderful Monday. Be safe out there and God bless. Later, guys.